the third vaccine to become available in the United States, and it's the first that requires only a single dose. It's the only one that can be kept at normal refrigerator temperatures. News for Jack's reporter Zach Lashway is talking with a local infectious disease specialist about this vaccine and how it compares to others. Another vaccine to aid in the fight against COVID-19. It means a lot more people can get vaccinated against this deadly virus. It means the vaccine can travel and vaccinate people in distant locations where we don't have that cold chain freezer available because this vaccine can be stored at regular refrigerated temperature for up to three months. Johnson and Johnson's one and done option is different from Pfizer's and Moderna's two dose shot. How does the Johnson and Johnson vaccine work? So it's slightly different technology. It's using a very harmless virus called an adenovirus, only a little piece of it. And into that, it's inserting that little portion of the spike protein that's from the, uh, from the virus itself, the cor coronavirus itself, COVID-19 virus. And so that gets injected into a patient and the patient makes those spike proteins. It's almost like we're giving your body a recipe and it's being given to the patient and the patient, People that get injected with this vaccine make that spike protein, which stimulates our immune system to start making antibodies against this virus. Dr. Mohamed Reza, a local infectious disease specialist, says any of these three vaccines will prevent severe COVID-19 infection. How effective is this vaccine? It is quite effective. It's 66 percent effective uh, across the world in preventing severe COVID infection in the United States it's 72% effective in preventing severe COVID infection. Dr. Reza says rolling out three vaccines for COVID-19 is significant. Exactly, Zach. At this point, we're, we're as a population, as people, our backs are against the wall, and you want that protection. You want that protection against this virus, this deadly virus, and the different variants that we're seeing across this country. And this is a race against time in terms of getting people vaccinated. In Jacksonville, Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station.